Hi, you're watching this video because you're going to request access for PeopleSoft and you want that process to go as fast as possible. In this video, we're going to show you several tips for how you can make that request happen very, very rapidly. In the request process, there are basically four steps. First, someone will request a role. That can be you or you can request a role for someone else in your department. Second, the supervisor of that person will have to approve the request for access to PeopleSoft. Third, a data trustee will look over that request and make sure that everything seems right and that all training is completed. And lastly, a security analyst will look at the role and make sure that everything looks square and then will turn on the role for in PeopleSoft. So four different people have to touch the request, and in this video we're going to show you how to speed that process up and make that request happen as quickly as possible. To begin with, we're going to go request a role. So you're going to go out to the ASU homepage and then to ASU Interactive. In ASU Interactive, under Faculty and Staff, there's a new area called PeopleSoft with four different links. The first two links will take you into PeopleSoft itself, either Student Administration or Human Resources. The second two links are the ones we're going to work with today, and they're submitting a new request and managing existing requests. So we're going to go submit a new request. When you submit for a request, you have to put in your ASU right and your password. And you'll come to this screen. Now the very next thing that it's asked for is your ASU Write ID. And people ask, why is that? I just put it in with a, a ASU Write ID and password on the previous screen. Well, this is because you can request access roles for people other than yourselves. If you're a supervisor, you can request roles for the people who report to you, or you can request roles for your coworkers. And so here you're, you're putting in the ASU Write ID for the person that you're going to request for. We're going to play out the scenario that you're requesting a role for yourself, so you'll put your ID, ASU Write back in place, and then click on Continue. Now when you click on Continue, two things can happen. You'll either get this screen, which means that you can move ahead with your request, or you might get a message that says that there's an outstanding request out there. In our system, we can only handle one active request at a time, and so if you have um, a role already in process, you'll have to wait for that role to play out before you can request more roles. If you have, if you get the message that says there's an outstanding request, you can go in and use that second link from ASU Interactive to manage your request in order to look at the status of the request and see which of the four steps it's sitting at in order to facilitate speeding up the rest of that request. But let's say that everything's working great and that you're ready to request access here and you're faced with this screen. The first rapid request step, rapid request step number one, is to put accurately in this purpose for access request what department you work in and why you need the, the access. The more information that you can put in here for the data trustee, the faster and easier it will be for them to, to um, process your request. If you know the code for the department that you're in, that will even help even more. So here you would put in um, the type of um, access that you want and what your department was. So we would put in new advisor for liberal arts, and you would continue on and put in your specific department. If you know your department code, that's a great thing to put in there, as well as if you need um, any specific access that goes along with that, if you're going to be setting service indicators or whatever it is in your business need that you need in order to do that. The more information you can put into those two lines, the faster your request will get done. Once you have your purpose for access request done, then you'll want to put in your um, supervisor's ASU Write ID. If you don't know it, it's no problem. You can click on the magnifying glass, and then you can look up your supervisor by any of the IDs that are there. In this case, we'll use their last name. And then you can pick it from the list. Okay, so rapid request number two here is that the software isn't going to know that the ASU write that you put in is actually the person that you report to. In your business process, you need to put in the person that will accurately be able to approve your request into the software. You just don't want to put down anybody. But if the person that you directly um, report to is on sabbatical in Italy, then you can put in the ASU right of someone else in your department who it would be appropriate to grant you access, approve your access request, um, who's here um, and active in the system. Um, so you're, you 
have some flexibility as to whose ASU right you put in. Once you put in the ASU right for the supervisor, then you just simply click on continue, and you'll come to this screen. Here it'll show you all of the roles that you currently have, and it will show you this add roles button. So you can click on add roles, and it will bring up all of the roles in PeopleSoft that are available. You can go down through the list and find the role that you're looking for. Notice that they are um, grouped by topic and subject as you go. If you're not sure which role to click on, you can go and click on the link of the role itself and it will pull up a description of the role. It will tell you what sort of required training is, um, is required for that role, if there is any and what sort of approvals are going to be put in, and who the data trustee is. Now, here's rapid request tip number three. You want to make sure that you're asking for the right role for the things that you want to do in PeopleSoft, and if there is any required training, that you understand how to get at that training and get that training accomplished. We have lots and lots of accesses that will sit out there um, waiting for people to finish their training um, before we can grant the access. So if you want a super fast access, make sure that you've got that training either underway or completed by the time you ask for your request. So once you're sure about that request and that you've got the right role and that you've got your training under control, then you can just click on the check mark box, go to the bottom, oops, go to the bottom and say save and return. Now here's rapid request tip number four. Some people will just click once on the save and return and then close the window, but they're not done requesting the role yet. You have to go to the bottom of the screen and say save and submit. If you don't say save and submit, your process will languish in this unborn state where nobody can get to it until you click that save and submit button. We've had lots of people who have um, requests out there and they think they've asked for the request, but actually they've only done one of the two screens that are needed. So you need to do save and return and you also need to click on save and submit. When you do that, there'll be an authorization to end user screen that will come up like this and you need to read the text that's there and then click on I agree and then return. The minute you click on return, your supervisor can go in and approve your roles, whoever you put down as an ASU right for that. Um, it doesn't take any time at all for the system to do that. Additionally, your supervisor will be sent an email by the system that says that there is a role to approve. Now, our email systems at ASU are sometimes um, complex and there's lots of different ways for that email to get lost. Sometimes they'll end up in someone's spam folder, they might end up in the wrong system, they may, there may be a miscommunication between the systems. The person may not have seen it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So some people have been relying on those email messages to the supervisors in order for that approval to happen. Rapid request tip number five is that the go to the supervisor right away and um, tell them that they can go out to ASU Interactive and manage that request.